वेलकम एवरी वन टू दिस वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वन ऑफ द न्यूएस्ट कैपेबिलिटीज विच हैज़ बीन लॉन्च बाई स्नोफ्लेक विच इज़ एन एडिशन टू देयर ए आई सीक्वल फंक्शंस विच इज ए आई एक्सट्रैक्ट सो वॉट इट डज इज यू नो इफ वी हैव लॉड ऑफ मे बी टेक्सट फाइल्स इन फॉर्म ऑफ पी डी एफ वर्ड इमेजेस एंड ऑल्सो लॉड ऑफ टेक्स्चुअल डेटा दैट इज बींग प्रोसेस्ड in the system what ai extract will do is it will extract the relative insights you know directly by using this simple function and we will actually be able to get the key metrics through which we can take some business critical decisions okay so that is how ai extract is working within this platform so i'll also demonstrate couple of use cases how ai extract actually works within snowflake as a platform okay so let us quickly go to the demo how it actually works right so what i have done is i have created one particular customer complaint tables if you see uh, there is uh, you know a lot of complaints normally customer uh, you know creates whenever it comes to a retail use case now if you see this there are a lot of sample data that even i have inserted into this particular table and if you see the data so where uh, you know you will have a complete paragraph you will have a person name and also you will have what kind of product against which the complaint is being raised what is the order id okay and whether the customer is really you know kind of uh, very very i mean what is the sentiment of the customer all these things are actually uh, you know given in form of text which is a process data i would say uh, you know it has come via email and right now it is already present in the db now imagine a use case using this particular text data because there can be you know here i have created a sample data but there can be hundreds of such data but using one particular query can we get the category of the product okay can we get uh, what is the product id who has you know kind of uh, uh, raised this particular uh, you know kind of uh, ticket okay all these things can we get and even um, a very very short summary of what that issue is all about all these things are now possible within snowflake with ai extract as a function okay so this one is loaded and then what i will do is i'll just you know fire a select uh, star from this table and then let me see wait Uh, why it's so why it is showing it is not exist or authorized so probably uh, what i have done is you know i have not selected the right schema okay so let me select the right schema and then what i will do is i will fire this select statement okay right now you see uh, what happened was uh, we got a complete textual form of data okay and now this is the key command okay so here ai extract we will use as a function text is your email uh, body and in response response format we are going to ask lot of uh, you know kind of uh, we are going to put lot of metrics where exactly we need to know what details we want to extract here what we want to extract is customer name order id product what is the short summary of the issue and Uh, what is it that the customer is requested uh, is requesting for action to be taken okay now if we execute this command we will see okay what kind of output are we getting and the uh, output format would be json right now and it will be in key value pairs okay now if we see this okay uh what happened was this is what we got see the first input was all text right the complete text but right now this one has been broken down into a little bit of chunks i would say wherein you get the key get the value what is the customer name what is the issue summary what is the order id what kind of product was it i mean was it a tv phone fridge whatever it is and what is the action that the customer is wanting to take right is it a completely uh, repair thing which they want or it is a replacement thing that is what uh, what is they want so likewise we will get uh, see there is another category right requested action is refund all the necessary actions that a customer 
is wanting someone to take along with all the other metadata attributes is easily extracted from that huge text fields from that particular uh, table okay so that is the power of ai extract functions and even right i mean we can go one step further where in this entire semi structured data can obviously be converted into structured data it, it can be loaded into a structured table so this is how it works right so syntactically uh, you know this particular query is clubbed under as a sub query and then what we do is we just extract each of these attributes that i was showing and then this particular table will be loaded okay so this is the query that if we fire then we will get all the necessary metadata attributes okay and if i execute this one so what will happen is you will get all the necessary columns independent columns right over there what we saw was the complete text and now here it has been broken down into each of the column and their values are also present right so that is what ai extract does it is the first use case okay and the second use case is a interesting use case now think of it like uh, we have a very very you know kind of big uh, uh, pdf file okay so you know I'll, i'll also share you know that particular pdf file okay now if my complaints are coming in this format okay a complete pdf file okay uh, where in the customer is telling that he has bought a sofa, a sofa model uh, right and paid this much amount of bucks and then the product has not been performing well so on and so forth all these things the customer has told and then this particular pdf file has to be processed okay and how ai extract is going to extract the key metrics directly by looking up to this pdf file without doing anything without doing you know think of it like it will be more like a uh, zero shot extraction okay zero shot extraction is what uh, we should tell what extract it will give to us by looking up to these pdf files which is nothing but a complaint file uh, i would say right um here what i have done is Uh, let us quickly see where these kind of pdf files i have kept so what we will do is a database explorer okay so demo db demo schema and then what we will do is i'll go to this one internal stage okay now the same file we have uh, i have uploaded into this folder and there are two set of files okay now the raw files have directly come into internal stage and now what has to be done is uh, i have to run that ai extract a uh, you know kind of sql function so that i can get quality insights directly uh, by reading those pdf file okay so how does it work right so if you see this this was the internal stage int_stage_demo_ai_extract okay now what i will do is i'll just fire this file so that uh you can see how many files have been present in the internal stage so there are two files okay and this is one of the command wherein i am classifying uh, a document it's a select output it will be classifying a document uh with respect to what kind of uh, file is it right so this is a letter and this is uh, you know a complaint letter that is how it is classifying the files which is there but this one is a key command okay same thing ai extract but here instead of uh, we uh, firing this ai extract on top of a particular column we are directly reading it from a file okay that is why you see this particular <coughs> syntax okay and then what i do is i execute this command and if you see this this was one of the file which i was showing right and this file is a pdf file this is the pdf file okay and then what i will do is i will just execute this command and let us see whether uh, the ai extract okay is again one of the gen ai capability can read this entire pdf file and give me just 1 2 3 4 okay four attributes out of this uh, you know out of the entire pdf file okay so let's see if it works yeah what it did what it did was it has extracted the customer name uh, the issue the summarization of issue what is the product 
and even what is the action that the customer wants uh, that entire uh, sales representative to take right so this is the power of a extract likewise we can even extract uh, the metrics from the other uh, file okay and then what we can even do is let's say we want to extract the metrics of uh, the complete uh, entire uh, you know kind of set okay so here also we can do that okay uh, so here what i will do is i will execute this particular command okay execute this particular command and what it will happen is it will give us the metrics of the two you know kind of uh, set of files okay so this is the power of ai metrics and folks we can even do sentiment analytics okay after doing the entire uh, you know extraction okay this is one example which uh, i would like to give because the customer has raised a complaint okay a lot of textual information he has provided and we have processed is uh, processed it using ai you know kind of uh, extract so what we can do is we can also do little bit of sentiment analytics on all top of textual data this is just you know i want to show that uh, the power of ai sentiment now if i execute this command what it will do is uh, it will give me the entire information about the overall sentiment whether it is negative or positive all these things it will give okay so folks uh, this was all about uh, i demonstrating the capability of ai extract and snowflake is really doing a lot in this ai gen ai space uh, we have to you know kind of see how we can inherit all these capabilities into our use case so thank you so much uh, once again for watching this video if you uh, like this video please feel free to uh, like uh, the video subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that uh, any incremental videos that i upload that do not get missed thank you so much once again